Hey there, and welcome back to Hardy Brothers Outdoors. Josh Hardy here. Uh, today, I want to look at a couple storage hacks for the 2032R. If you've been watching any of my videos for any length of time, you know I've got very few gripes about the 2032R, but one of the biggest ones is the lack of a toolbox. This uh, little glove box that they call a toolbox is, is pretty much uh, ineffective at helping me store tools that I'd like to carry around with me all the time. This is a 15 16 gear wrench that I carry. I love to use it to make sure that my three-point attachments, the pins on them, are, uh, are firm. We've had some of those come loose. We use some Loctite, but I like to keep one of these on there. Uh, this, if I can, good pair of channel locks and a good uh, uh, screwdriver. Now, this uh, storage box down here is not part of today's hack. And the other one, uh, I'm going to talk about two of them today. First one, some of you have seen it before, I'm sure. I've got a version of it that uh, is working pretty well. We'll see how long it lasts. I'll probably uh, replace it with uh, a different brand and a higher, uh, maybe a lower profile uh, cap for it. So let's look at the first one. Okay, so the first hack is using this uh, this tube on the front end loader. I know some of you have seen this before. I went to Menards last night to find a cap for it. This is a test plug uh, used in um, uh, plumbing. And so this thing, this one's actually plastic. I think I'm going to try to upgrade to the Oatly brand that I've seen online. I'm going to buy one of those from Amazon. For the 2032R, this is a three inch plug. So I'll leave a link to the one on Amazon down below. I've seen others had success with it. This one I like pretty well. Uh, it's got a little bit deeper plug, so it should hold longer, but it's plastic. And it's got this long screw that sticks out, so it's gonna be not as low profile as I want. From the other side, I've fed in a 14, in, or 14 foot logging chain, uh, which probably comes to a little bit past the middle. It takes a little bit of effort to feed it in there. Um, if you've got one of these wrenches, you could help push it in. So does that one fit? That one fits, so I can add some of my tools in here. Now what I'm probably going to need to do, and actually that's running into the chain, so it's not going to go too deep, which was one of my concerns. Channel locks, do they go in? Those fit as well. How about my, uh, my crescent wrench? No go, no bueno. I don't have a solution for this yet. Screwdriver. Okay, all three of those are in there. I can actually reach them, and they can't go any further because that chain is holding them in on the other side. Push this in, turn it. Now, one of the things I'm thinking is that crescent wrench might come in handy to give this thing one extra turn, but it's in there nice and firm. So this is gonna be my temporary solution until I get the others, and then I might just put one on each side to see you know, if, if one works better than the other. These were five bucks at Menards. Not sure what they cost on Amazon, but again, I'll put the link down below. So I'm still without a solution for this crescent wrench. And uh, one of the other things that I found was that I can actually get my screwdriver. All three of these tools are of the length that they will actually fit in the glove box, but I can only get one of these in there. I have two. They're good to, to work when you're using uh, both sides of a, a nut or a bolt, so I can get away without that. That just gives me, this crescent wrench gives me a little more reach. So let's look at how they fit in the glove box and then we'll talk about the next option. So those of you that own this, you know this thing's pretty much a joke. And um, I have a crescent wrench in there right now. That one's a little bit shorter. I have this wrench. Now it, it'll go in at an angle, but you can only put one, otherwise it interferes with the latch. So what I'd like to be able to do is keep this box for my phone, which I do charge and use my Bluetooth uh, work. Uh, workmen, whatever they're called, uh, headphones, and um, I like to keep bushings and things like that in here. So let's look at the other uh, solution that I came up with. All right, so the other solution, I was out on Amazon the other day and I was looking around, and I don't even remember how I came across this, uh, but this is just like you see all of our manuals come in these. They're much smaller though, that come in the um, on the attachments. This one's four inches in diameter. Uh, I think it's about 12 or 13 inches long. Again, I'll put the, the link down there. 
19 bucks. Okay. A lot of options for this thing if you want to drill holes in your tractor, which maybe I will at some point, but I haven't yet. Uh, this one actually comes with uh, some mounting hardware. This is actually for a, a motorcycle storage case is what they had it marketed as. They have these little clamps, so you can clamp them around something, uh, you know, pipes or whatever else, and a, uh, a little nut and a, a lock washer there, and then zip ties. I think they had uh, four or so zip ties, so you can just zip tie it too, which you'll notice on some of our attachments, like my uh, uh, skitter winch in the background there, it's just zip tied on, which is fine as long as you've got UV resistant zip ties. So this has four spots, three up top and one on the bottom. So there's a lot of options here. I mean, you can mount it up above, pretty good. I'm sure some of you who are a little more uh, mechanical than me, you could probably mount it to some of the, the front end loader components. Um, I, the, the one thing about this, I don't really want it above my head in case it comes open, but they do make them with a latch, like a fold down uh, tension latch. They have a uh, rubber seal to make them waterproof. So did this solve my issue? And I'm going to show you where I mounted it because I actually didn't drill a single hole and I think I've got a pretty good solution on how this is going to work. So I'll go into a little more detail on that. But um, let's take a look at those tools. All right, out of the tools that I was hoping to store in here, the screwdriver will fit, the channel locks will fit, 15 16 French is about a half inch too tall. This bad boy, even though it fits in there, too long, so that's not going to work. So I still haven't solved the need for all of the tools that I want to carry. Um, and I know there's other solutions out there. Artillion has a box, uh, Rock Hill Farms, Brock Maggard, he's got a couple videos about that. I know there's, uh, I think Ken's bolt-on hooks or some of the others have mounts that you can put up top. And uh, I I'm probably going to end up trying something like that because this is actually camera equipment, GoPros, things like that. It's a pain in the butt to carry with me places uh, without having a way to solve them. Now my GoPros will fit in here. So let's take a look at where I mounted this thing. So you see this little uh, bolt right here, 10 millimeter, and these gear wrench things are awesome. I don't know if you've ever used them before. It's actually kind of loose because I'd already had it loose. So I took that out and you gotta take the top off to mount it. That's gonna fit right in there. Now, it does create a little bit of interference with your speed of uh, rate of speed drop. Now for me, I usually set that once and forget it. Mine's actually seized up, I need to fix it. If anybody has a, a tip on how to get that to come loose, um, I saw somebody had sent it back under warranty to get it fixed, but I'm sure there's an easy way to get in there, probably undoing some of the bolts that I'm adding back in here. Now. The other thing is, like I said, there's three bolts across here. And if you put it in the middle, the bolt interferes with this sliding on to, uh, to close it. If you put it all the way to the, uh, to the left, it's going to interfere a little bit with the chair and make it hard. So I'm putting it all the way in this top bolt here, or this top slot here. You don't have ratchet uh, wrenches like this. Highly recommend them. It's like a gear wrench brand. Okay. Now we're in there, but we're not set up on the on the rear of it. There's not an easy place to attach the rear of it. So I'm going to use the provided zip ties. I only have one out here with me right now, but I'm going to add more than one. And um, let's take a look at it once we're done here. So I drilled a hole right here in the plastic and I added one of these little pipe fitting uh, clamps that they sent with it. I could have just drilled two holes and ran this through both holes, but I decided not to do that. 
So I'm gonna run it through the plastic on the uh, carrier. Zip that down nice and tight. That should keep that from bouncing around. Now you can see how it fits in there. It's up against the, uh, the back of that. The seat comes down, no problem. It doesn't interfere. Let's come back around. It does have a slight tilt to it, but I don't think it's gonna be a problem. So it tilts downhill just a tad. Because I put that out to the side, So there is my new storage hack. Let's take a closer look at that. No drilling, 20 bucks. I have now added about a four by 13, whether you put gloves in there, uh, really, well, pretty much anything you need to store, right? So let's take a look. Let's see how it's interfered here with the speed of rate drop which you can still get your hands in there if you needed to, or you could cut this and slide it out of the way. I mean, it is a, a five minute solution. So between that and this, so for 30 bucks, I've just made a significant increase in my storage. Over here, like I said, that's a 14 foot, uh, 5 16 chain with hooks on both sides. Slide that back in, good and firm. Pop that in, crank it down, and you're gonna wanna go tighter on it. Again, I'm gonna try the other ones online, see how they work. But I think that's gonna work out well. Okay, so those are my two storage hacks for under 30 bucks. Links are in the description. Let me know what you think. Let me know what else you've done. I know there's other methods uh, I was looking for a fast, easy, cheap approach. Still didn't quite get to the size tools that I wanted. I have another idea I'm gonna work on and uh, we'll come back to you on that. But uh, we'll wait and see until we get that put in place if it's actually gonna be a viable solution or not. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Hit that like and subscribe. If you haven't been out to our Amazon shop, check us out out there. It doesn't matter what you buy. It doesn't have to be in our shop. Anywhere on Amazon after you hit our link gets us a small little commission. Helps out tremendously uh, with keeping this channel going, keeping up with all of our costs and uh, continuing to give us opportunities to bring great content to you. So thanks a lot. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.